Recently, a former deputy um, Senate President Ibrahim Mantu revealed in an interview how he was actively involved in compromising election officials, Bagan. security officers, and even agents of rival parties mm -hmm. to assist in rigging candidates of his former party to victory. Okay. Okay. However, people are asking on social media now that now that this man has confessed, will he be regarded as a criminal? Mm. Hey. Senator, don't confess. Okay. Ladies, audience, the senator has confessed. You know that. He has said that he has, he is confessing because he, he has become again. a born again. Mm. I don't know whether he's born again. Political born again. Christian or born again Muslim <laughs> or just like you say, political born again. <laughs> political <laughs> born again. Mm. Now, people. Really, if you, if you confess to rigging, it's actually a criminal offense. Yes, yes, it is. Will he be arrested? But I wanted to tie this into the um, recent Kanu, um, um, Kanu elections where uh, they said there were children. Yeah, voters. That were vo uh, yeah. Children voters. And nobody has talked to us yeah, about nobody this. Nobody has said anything. Yes. So, ladies. Well, Aine can try to talk to us about it. They said it was a lie, that it was impossible. They said they investigated, they, they investigated and it wasn't true. They didn't find it. Hmm. But you see, for me, uh, Mantle's confession now, in a country where our police will say a crime was reported in the papers, but they did not do official reports. Mm, so they didn't get I it. I won't be surprised if nothing is done. done. Oh, yeah, who hey. got it? It was a, a confession made in the papers. However, is it because Senator Mantu knows now that this is wrong and he will do everything to stop it hmm. in the future that he's confessing or you are just making political distractions? Well, he made allegations, um, sorry, um, allusions to that, that the reason I'm saying this is because when you go outside of the country, as far mm. as you're carrying a green passport, Mm. They yeah, look down that. on you. So mm. he's he he has changed. He's born again. He mm. wants things to change in Nigeria. Okay, so this is he's becoming born again. This is, is somebody who is, this is somebody who is who has confessed to a crime? an electoral crime. offense. Mm. Mm. And there's a penalty because I had to go and check INEX uh, uh, mm -hmm. electoral, electoral offenses. Mm. Uh, election offenses mm -hmm. and there were penalties attached mm. now i picked his own from there and i saw the penalty attached and nobody is saying anything what is the penalty tell us now uh, we leave that one first nobody is saying anything about okay. him coming out to confess now they are feeling he's giving us excuses probably because when he travels people look down on nigerians also, and all of that, that something should be done he should first be picked up in that state he has confessed to a crime to how developed and how selfless it is over there, the way people go into elections for the purpose of growth and development in other countries. Unlike mm. here, it's about power. Mm. And I alluded to the fact power that, you know, pockets. a lot of corruption happened when the PDP 16 years was reigning. He was involved. And he was actively involved. Good. How they fight and do everything to get into power, and now it's about payback. Corrupt corruption to the extent you, you bribe a party agent of another party mm. to compromise the results of the oh, election you know, against his own candidates. We know all of that. What okay. is being done right so now? So what is being done? One politician said that every election in Nigeria since 1959 was rigged. Now, I senior advocate, advocate of Nigeria, Femi mm. Falano, said, mm. and I quote, he said nothing will be done by the Buhari's government because, and I'm quoting him, the country is being run on the basis of official impunity. Ew. Femi Falano says that Mantu had admitted to helping to rig elections mm. in the past. Admitted mm. to help him. So nothing is going to be done about this recent mm. admission. Because he also... Whoa. Yeah, he, um, he, somebody, well, his party also said ah, <coughs> that uh, if, he, if he was rigging like that, maybe he lost in 2007 mm. yes. because the party has said no. He had, and his spokesperson has come out to say he didn't rig on behalf of the party. He rigged on his own personal behalf. So they shouldn't blame PDP. So um, there is no way in the he's world. Saying he lost the 2007 Election. elections. Yeah. There is no way in the world where people come out and confess to a crime and they are just... And nobody picks and nobody, them up. Yeah, nobody does anything. So it means tomorrow I can do anything I want and come out and apologize to you people that have done it. Uh, and nobody's not. doing anything about it. Hey, but thank you, thank you for bringing that up, uh, Obiajulu, because the thing is, there is this um, trend that we have in Nigeria. Sorry, sorry souls 
everything. I, I will slap you, then I will say, say ah, so, I'm sorry, sorry for Emma, be and, and if a damn for jams me, my fine car that I, I look, I'm just <laughs> looking at it. Then I will come down. I will say, no, you must pay. They will say, he has sorry, begged you he has now. Begged you. Well, the people will now, I will now become the, be, thank yes. you. Because they will say, ah, ah, Shebi, he has begged you now. What's your own? Ah, okay. Mm. Right. To do. Talking about the issue, Palano also mentioned that the issue would be treated with leniency, like mm. every other issue mm. in our polity. Because it's not the first time that we'll hear confessional statements. Mm. And like Nima rightly said, please will say nobody has reported to mm, them. Officially. So are they not the <coughs> ones who are supposed to prosecute state crime? Hey, babe. Mm. Is election rigging not a state crime? It is a state crime. Don't know do you. the police station, Abi, you don't know. I'm Roba. I think you have to protect the hey, police station hey, first. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I've never seen it. He's only in Nigeria. Is this police you want to go? Police are thinking of how they will stop the next robbery attack on their say, themselves. Is Mantu they want to follow? Eventually. It doesn't matter. You, master of rigging still lost an election. You know why? Hey, no, you, so somebody you know? out rigged the other. Exactly. Thank you. Ladies, we have a call. We have a call from Dr. Mu. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I'm ah, Yakub in the building. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, uh, I, I learned from certain things this morning when we are reviewing the paper. And then it's a big lesson to every one of us because I before I go to my two issue, and then I'll make it fast. When I review the paper, you may mention that uh, God said Yaya Bello has an injury. And then you can see in the studio, nobody said that let's pray for him for, for him to do <laughs> 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 We pray for him that will do it. God forbid, God forbid, assuming the governor of the Lagos State, the Amebu and the very beautiful man, the governor of Lagos State, has such I can see in that studio, everybody will pray for him. Mm. That is a big lesson to our leader. When yes. you are a governor, you have to be doing very well so that people will be sympathetic yes. for you. Right. Then, let's go to Mantu issue. Sister Yeri, I can tell you, Every political party in this country has did the same thing. Yes. And I tell you, with the sense of responsibility, I was a former uh, agent of one of the political parties. Hmm. Are you getting it? Do you know yes. that even some of the political parties that was not known to us, the, the, the people who likely to be an agent, mm. it's not because they want to monitor the, 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 the police uh, unit, and because they know that some big political party they are bringing money to share to them. Hmm. I resisted it. And then at the end of the election, I made sure that the place that I'm, I was agent, I won that election. Do you know that I was attacked spiritually? And then I said, I did it. That is the truth. No, I was not. Give me money. I said, no, I would never take it. Because I represent my party in this uh, police mm. unit. Some people are going to police unit, police unit, I say, get to collect money from the business, big uh, political party. All because they know that they will bring you money. All political are do that, not for the PDP. Thank you and God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what's, the, what's the impact of such a confession, confessionary statement and nothing being done? Done. Because yeah. mm -hmm. it was Doi Okupe who was making the allegation that why all of you um, shouting about Mansu? Mm -hmm. And all the elections since 1959 have been rigged. Rig. You mm -hmm. know. And um, it brings to mind when you bring out a list, right? Saying that some people are looters. I remember Obani Koro. Mm. During the last AKT elections, yes. during the last Oshu State elections, yes. and when this government came into power, they picked him up mm. and said, Oga, you collected money from Dasuki mm. for the last elections. Where is Obani Kuro today? Today. Mm -hmm. Bagan. He's in APC now. Bagan. Uh, they have left him. So uh, they, because if people And he did not make the looters list. Abi was in on the looters list. Be, they know that they can do anything and get I away with it. that Mantu lost an election in his constituency because the people stood against him. Not because somebody knew how to rig. Mm. Because he was the master of riggers. Yeah, he had well. a lot of years to rig to the point he became deputy senate president. A title. Yes. But someone beat him at it because oh. the people rose up. I yes. wish that the APC had capitalized on the kind of faith we had in them. Okay. Yes. You know, and... You hold the thought, hold the thought. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Sorry. Fine, thank you. <coughs> You're yeah, welcome to the uh, show. Uh, what they are discussing there is a very interesting topic. Mm -hmm. um, the truth is that if there is no forgiveness, if there is no sin, there will be no forgiveness. On the eh? case of man, mm. if there is no sin, there will be no forgiveness. Mm. On the case <laughs> of man, mm. but the truth is another thing is this. 
You people do not understand the meaning of PDP and APC. They are one and the same, sir. So, both of them are the same. Very true. Uh, because under PDP, PDP to me means people deceiving people. People. <laughs> and APC means all promises cancelled. Hey, We should not be deceiving people on the platform of PD. All promises and answers. So, which way, Nigeria? Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> you know, there, there's this um, text going around, uh, this fella song, and they're saying, ah, uh, Fela is talking. You be no be I no be be You be rubber. I no be rubber. You be am rubber. I no be am rubber. Why can't let's take some sweets? Dolani yes. Robert says, I call on former Senate President Senator Ibrahim Mantu to list his accomplices that helped mm. the People's Democratic Party rig elections in the past. Vanessa says, an action should be taken on Mantu. Would yes. I confess that I killed someone before and go scot free? Michael you. says, please let us not take this man to Abin Amantis issue. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> we all know how it will end. Swept mm. under the rug. We are actively waiting for the next lie from the present okay. government. Uh, he says, right, he, co he ought to be picked up and prosecuted, but this isn't the first time someone is confessing to rigging elections. Chris Uba did, Governor Pabio did, hmm. there have been others. Hmm. Hmm. Kainde Nafiu says the senator's confession <laughs> statement should not be overlooked. He must face the penalty inherited in that official impunity. That babe. I says, have one, okay. His confession has a political undertone, has nothing at all to do with traveling abroad. He just wanted to. Okay. Um, yeah. Sorry, you will take tweets after. Okay. It's time for us to go, go for a commercial break. <laughs> when we come back, we shall be discussing peace in our nation. Yes, Not Mama Piso. Peace. In our nation. <laughs> and I have a gift for you. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Lately, the nation's peace has been woefully threatened by indigenous crisis, mm. causing more harm than good. However, we cannot say peace is being overemphasized for a peaceful nation is a secured place to live. Mm -hmm. Joining us on the show is the executive um, officer, creator of peace, um, Sir Kate Monkhouse. Yeah. You're welcome. Madam. And, and we also have the President, Creators of Peace International, Amina DKD Ajakaye. <laughs> Ladies, welcome. Now, this international peace is very interesting to me because actually, actually, the whole world, there is no peace. So, <laughs> I would love to hear what you're going to say. First of all, we have problems here. Then, if we go to Libya, Syria, all Somalia. over the world, Somalia, Somalia. Somalia. and lately from um, France. You know, so like, I will, since you are the foreigner amongst us, okay. <laughs> but it's one world, one people, one yeah. people, one world. Yeah. I'll move to you first. Well, Kate. thank you for welcoming us here on your show this morning. I'm really looking forward to the conversation. Um, Creators of Peace is a women's initiative, and we have done our Creators of Peace circles. It's a community gathering for women in more than 50 countries uh, worldwide now. And uh, really, our hope is to transform, empower, and to engage women in giving leadership for peace, wherever that might be. That might be in their home, their community, and really in responding to the issues that they face in their nation as a whole. Thank you. Please give us. Uh, women are moving. Women are moving. Mm -hmm. I wanted to quickly ask, why only women? Yeah, so oh. why women and what about men? Yeah. yeah, so we welcome men in our programs. We have a number of different events, peace focus gatherings, the creators of peace circles. Um, and we believe that the collaboration is really important. 
At the same time, we also value the space for women to talk about their lives, to share, short, st share stories about turning points in their lives and to discuss issues that they carry as women and to, to really explore the, the agency and the leadership that they have as women as well. And we believe that's really important. And our track record shows that the women appreciate that space. They enjoy finding friendship, enjoying hospitality. And that really gives them, you know, the, the power, the passion to, to move for peace in their communities. Thank you very much. And would you like to say something? I mean, I, I have a question for her. Ms. Yeah. Samina. Yeah. Yeah. Ms. Samina talk first, then you can yeah. The question is directed at Okay. I believe that the conflict that we have all over the world is as a result of the failure of the justice system. What is justice for you is not justice for the other person. So when one person... Palestine, for instance, feel that, you know, we own the land and say, um, um, Israel has come and taken over the entire place. And the world is quiet on this. So they feel aggrieved. You see insurgency growing and terrorism growing because, you know, they decide I would define what, how, how I will get justice and on, <coughs> until I get it. There's no closure for me. How much of, how much of um, uh, degradation do you see in the justice system around the world and how does it play out? Is it that there's a code that everybody must follow or there's a different code for each person at per time? Mm. You asked yes. a very important question. Yes. Justice is the right of every human being. Mm -hmm. we, know we, we, uh, we, we promote justice, we promote dignity of the individual. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, what you've said about Palestine and all over the uh, in different parts of the world, mm -hmm. that is what is prevailing. But let's not forget the role of respect Okay. for the other person, no matter who that person, person is. is. You know, when you, people feel marginalized, mm -hmm. whether it's due to religion, whether it's, you know, ethnicity, or, you know, whatever the issues are, respect for the dignity I is paramount. <coughs> and in Creators of Peace, our program, these are, you know, some of the values we're trying to promote, mm -hmm. you know, because sometimes you will hear, you know, the value of money, people are talking about wealth and riches, but we also forget that, um, values is a is a currency, mm -hmm. you know. So we promote the currency of moral and ethical values in society to be able to, you know, um, for people not to be marginalised. Yeah. Okay. I, I really love that what you just said. Justice is the right of every human being, you know, and it's you know, it's just so profound to me because I, I find the injustice so like in, in this world. I mean. The way there is one rule for this person and another rule for that person, for me, I, I that injustice makes me just. But well, theorists mm -hmm. say that peace is an illusion, that there will always be conflict in the world. So we should rather focus on conflict resolution rather than assume that there will be world peace. Because a headsman. Heading his cow, walks into my house to pluck mango. Mm -hmm. And I say, Oga, stop there. It's not your own. And he brings out his machete, trying to maim or kill. How do you say that there will be world peace? So what are the conflict resolution methods, systems, and mechanisms that you're profounding? Mm. Thank you. That's very key to our work. Um, our, our major tool... Is what Kate described earlier, uh, you know, as the creators of peace circles. Okay. We, we have this gathering of women, small gatherings, mm -hmm. you know, um, per session, <coughs> where we look at issues concerning peace. Okay. We call them the 10 gathering points, looking mm -hmm. at the qualities of a peacemaker, mm -hmm. looking at what is peace anyway, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know they were, yeah, and how to give leadership mm -hmm. in, in, in peace. You know, so um, it, it does not just stop there. Uh, peace is not, is not illusionary. I think we have to begin to look differently, ask ourselves different questions. Mm. You know, <coughs> attitudes. Mm. Where do you learn attitudes? Mm. From the environment. Uh, you know, one of the things that we promote in Creators of Peace is telling a new story. Mm. Okay. Some of our inherited stories that are promoting conflict. Yes. Mm. And I'm time. sorry to say, you know, sometimes Lots it is us women who promote them a bit I agree, I agree with you. Yeah. Thank and, you very when, much. and they say that when you educate a woman, you educate it's a nation. Mm -hmm. And because we're the ones who um, bring up, we bring, these we bring up, up the children, right? Who eventually become the men mm. that are, you know, the heads mm. so of speak. our society. Because particularly in Nigeria, it's a patriarchal society. 
Keda, I was going to ask that, um, coming from the world where you're coming from, where women have more rights than in some localities here in Nigeria, mm -hmm. right? A woman can decide that this is how she wants to raise her children. And the father says, no, that's not how he wants to raise his children mm -hmm. and she has no rights, you know, to say anything. Mm -hmm. So in particularly our culture, you're bringing women together. At the end of the day, they go home and the men and say, the husband no. says no. Yeah. <laughs> how are we? How, how, are you doing with that? That? how yeah. effective are our women? Bef before you answer, yeah. I want to quickly add mm. that uh, we've had so much political unrest in mm -hmm. our nation, okay. economic unrest. Mm. There's so much poverty. Now you are coming to preach peace, and there are a lot of people who are hungry who are mm. not even listening to you. They can't listen to you because they haven't eaten. So, how do we bring that peace in a place where there is? I, I think the basic things need it's to be injustice. That's given for us. So, how do we Idiots. make them listen to see that this is not the way to go? And how do we keep them interested? Okay, so two questions. Are you open? Two questions. Oh, yes. Questions. Go ahead with the first one. And yeah. that's because that yeah. was addressed to you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. of course. Um, so it can be so frustrating when there is something that you want to do, you have an inspiration for action, a value in your life, and the structures around you uh, make that very difficult, whether it's a lack of access to education, a lack of protection of your human rights. Um, and one of the things that we found really important in our work is that the women feel that they don't have to wait. Sometimes we see with peace building, we're waiting for the policy to change, we're waiting for the political process to change, we're waiting for the election to change. And one of the things that we are working through in, in our community gatherings is saying, actually, there is something I can do now. I have agency. So there, there are choices. It may not be the obvious one, but we encourage women to listen to themselves, to really listen deeply uh, so that they have, if not a peaceful situation, they can claim a peace in themselves mm. to pass on to their family, to their community. Okay. And we also teach them skills to how to maintain that when life gets tough. Okay. So we're not here to preach a peace which is a peaceable peace. Mm. This is a robust peace. Yeah. Okay. And the other thing we encourage women to do is to look at their role models. Yeah. All of us have aunties, neighbours, teachers, somebody from our village, somebody from our place of worship who was a role model. Mm. She may not have had a title or a position, mm -hmm. but she taught us something. Mm -hmm. And we can claim that legacy and pass it on in our own situation. Yeah, like my mother, was um, my, my mother, my grandmother, mother. you know, my grandmothers were my role models. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was going to say something, but yeah. you I have a question. question. Yeah. 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 In yeah. our society, there's a lot of hunger, hunger, political yeah. unrest. How do we settle down to listen to this piece you're preaching? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you raised, because when we talk about peace, mm -hmm. it's not just the absence of the gunshots and the absence of mm -hmm. conflict war. and war. Okay. There is food security. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've got to think of that. There's economic stability. Mm, we need important. that. Mm. You know, so there's so many aspects. Health. Mm. You know, these are these different aspects of, of peace. Mm. And there is the responsibility of the state. Okay. There is the responsibility of the individual. Mm. But how do we often make demand of our states to provide some of those things. We don't have ways of doing it too. <laughs> well, well you may, you may, you'll be very surprised. Yes. Mm. You know, because you know, out of our, some of our conversations um, in, uh, in, in Kenya, I, just, I was in Kenya a month ago, um, there was a, a, a demonstration of the peace circles that we've been having in Kenya, where women were able to uh, proffer peace in three communities in the Baringo region in Kenya. Oh. Yes, and you know, there women are now taking care of you know, their farms in, because the conflicts are no longer there. Mm -hmm. you know, once there's no, there's no conflict, people can go to their farms to do and have mm -hmm. their business mm -hmm. transactions going on smoothly. The children can go to school. So there is a lot of um, this thing attached Actually, to peace. Yes. And we, have, we have to work it all have, and together. We'll we have, right yeah. we, we have to take a break now, but we'll come mm. back and we'll go to the um, oh, audience because yeah. I was going to tell a sto short story as well okay. about my my siblings. We used to fight, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go on a short break and we'll be right back. Stay tuned.
come back. Now we are going to talk, um, talk about how individuals can contribute to a peaceful environment. What is Nigeria's, uh, or what are Nigeria's uh, major security threats? Mm. And how can we sustain a, a peaceful environment? Mm. Now, uh, Nima wants to ask a question, yes, then we'll okay. come to you. Don't mind her, you know her. <laughs> I had a very You know, I'm still on this justice issue. Yeah, Lately, yeah. the mm -hmm. failure of our security law enforcement agencies right. to be just neutral and non-biased in the issues of ethnic conf uh, conflicts and all that, and investigate neutrally is causing people to resort to self-help to the point some of our notable uh, elder statesmen are advocating self-help self as, as the solution mm -hmm. to the Edsman clashes and all the various clashes we have around. How, how right or true is the resort to self-help in the face of conflicts and all the situations we have? Um, I'm, I afraid to, to I'm, I'm afraid that might be a slightly careless statement by my view. Because, and, and uh, the other thing is that it gives us women an opportunity to step on board you know, in situations like this. How? Because in Creators of Peace, what we're trying to promote is for women to step up into leadership for mm. peace. Mm. You know, uh, women have, have got to, to take charge yes. of, okay. of that. Yes. You know, um, because we have a different way of approaching issues, issues other than men. Yes. Like we said earlier, you know, um, when we start our, when we start our gathering, peace uh, gathering points, what is peace anyway? Peace to you may not be peace to me. Mm. For another person, it's to stop the gun going. For another woman, it is to provide food on the table for the child. Mm. For another one, it's for them to go to school and for her, her husband to go to work peacefully. Yeah. You know, so it, it's, 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 um, I, th I think it's one of those areas where women have got to rise up to give leadership yes. in peace. What I'm yeah. hearing you say is the responsibility is now mm. the women. Yeah. If we take charge, because we are mothers mm. and nobody wants to see, to see her son no, or no, her no, daughter die mm. from war or from injustice, you know? So I think, you know, because um, if we, each person indiv individually, each woman individually stops this, you know, our sons listen to us. They are the ones that carry the guns mostly, yes. scum. That gun, don't carry it. They, they will stop. Yeah. I, so I believe that we do, and I agree with you. I think we really have a strong role to play. So, audience, over to you. Who is coming first? There must be a frontal please. approach to the removal of insecurity in the land. Mm. The Nigerian state and the question <laughs> of sovereignty is questioned. Mm. There is a senseless drive of killings, mm -hmm. there is an arrangement of this unity. The people in the land must hold government to question. We must begin to allow the youthfulness of the Nigerian people to stand in the bridge for vigilance. The Nigerian people must begin to allow ourselves align across the boards of ethnicity and religion. This has so much divided us, mm. taking us away from the part of the trueness of mm. Nigeria. Mm. Until these issues are frontally removed, we will be in a vicious circle. Thanks. God bless the Federal Republic. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, Nima, what are you going to say? I believe for peace to reign, it has to be from, in the individual has roles to play for peace to reign. So we can, let's say for example, you are growing your kid, you are grooming your children. Tell you, my daughter, my son, try to preach innate tolerance mm. to people. Let's understand that there's something called individual differences. Yes. My own opinion, my own perception about things is different from my neighbor's perception to things. To things. Understand that the way I tolerate people is different from the way you tolerate mm. people. When you learn to tolerate individual thinking towards things, you would understand that the world would be a peaceful place. That's true. I'm proud of this day. Thank you. And that's why your view preaches. Different good opinion, morning. respect people's mm. views. That's why it's called your view. Yes, sir. Ladies. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome. I just want to throw a question in the air. Is it morally better to um, commit a crime and confess to it? Mm. Or is it better to um, commit the crime 
keep it to yourself and repent. I just want to hey, well. ah, Did you hear her question? <laughs> she said, are, are you talking about yes, Mansi? Keep, keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself and then pray another one is and the... repent. Or, or confess. Confess. Okay, is, is, which is more peaceful. Uh, okay. Well, there's a question of motive mm. at the back of, of that. What yes. the motive? If you know that you're going to confess at the end of the day, why do it? Why do it? Yes. What's, what's the motive behind the action? Mm. I just read in the end. Okay. So okay. I have so a few Can we can can just, just take one more person, then you can go on your tweet. One more person. Somebody else. So one more person. Can we pass the microphone quickly to the last person? Yes. All right. I think um, there should be more focus on the students, the younger ones, you. the younger generations, because that's where you start from, schools. I don't know if your uh, foundation can look out onto that Sorry, also, that will help better. Thank yeah. you, did you hear? Yes, yes, yes. yes. We have uh, the, the mother of organization of our program is Initiatives of Change, like Kate mentioned, and there are many uh, programs that they do with regards to youths. Okay. You know, one is living differently. Mm. challenging us on the way we live mm. and uh, I'll take opportunity I know earlier on you mentioned about the coming elections next year yes, um, yeah, the organization is also organizing uh, making mm. democracy real mm. and we will be targeting different groups including the youths mm -hmm. because they play a very key role and, to, and you know as they say you are the leaders of tomorrow we better start building the right character I heard that when and I was values I heard and when values I was like for, for leadership. So, um, <laughs> that babe says, if everyone in their little circles find inner peace and share to people around, it would go a long way at world peace. Yes. Though with so much hardship in, say, our country, it effects might be minimal. Adimola Alalade says, honestly, we need peace in our country. Only women cannot bring peace. We need to show love to one another, men and women and children. This is how peace can reign in Nigeria. John O'Ham says, you cannot give what you don't have. People must understand the concept of peace, the benefits and the rewards of peace before they can give it. This is why more enlightenment, enlightened societies are relatively more peaceful. Felix Okay, says, please, can I just take a phone call? Okay. We have Pastor Joseph from Agbara. Welcome to the show. I know you, you preach peace, go, as yeah, a pastor. I'm a first time caller. Welcome. Yeah. Ah, welcome. <laughs> Well, for peace to reign in our nations, for example, there must be justice, equity, and fairness. Very okay. Thank you. Important. Extremely important. important. The leadership of the nation now must show equal love to every ethnic group, mm. not hiding under anything, not when the other one commits crime, you go with force. But when the other one commits crime, you pamper them, you cover it. And that means tearing up anger from other sides. Exactly. You are so right. Why so many people are calling for self-defense now because nothing is done to this senseless killer. Mm. Mm. Please, yeah. the government should take care of these killers. Yes. Before the Nigeria will be thrown into another to make up less Nigeria. Thank you, Thank you very much. Amen. Amen. You know, he's, 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 so, he's so right because when two children, one is from, one is an Igbo, or three children, one is Hausa, one is from Igbo. Niger they will not, they don't know anything. They, in fact, they will teach each other their languages mm. and they will grow up as one. Yes. So it's. To uh, tweet quickly, a peaceful country by Adebayo is a progressive and stable country. If we manage our differences well and jaw jaw instead of war war, we can achieve a lot together. We have a role to play in ensuring peace in our communities. And he also says, without peace in our polity, nothing concrete will be achieved. Mm -hmm. An atmosphere of fear and insecurity bring agitations and confrontation which may claim so many lives and render our community empty. Okay. I want to end Felix, by saying quickly. Felix says, okay. religious tolerance is one of the ways for peaceful coexistence in our nation. Let's tolerate one another. I wanted to go to that religion yeah. right now because over time we've, we've learned that, uh, we've been taught that we are different over mm -hmm. time. And nobody's giving us that oneness, that mm -hmm. every, irrespective of your religion, we are mm -hmm. one. If we can get yes. that oneness, we are, we understand know, that we know oneness. We are, thank you very you much. You know we are one. The time, the show is almost <laughs> over. So let me finish, let me say the last okay. word now. Ah, okay, thank you. So um, for me, um, it's peace is one people. We are 
the human race. There is no white race. Mm. There is no black race. Mm. There is no Igbo race. Mm. It's human race. race. Go and check the dictionary. It's the human race, and we should live like all human beings are wow. born. So that's why today, your view, we are going to give you all, in the audience, a gift. One people, one nation. Woo! One world. We are going to give you one people, one, one world. world. That's, so you will um, listen to it, you will read it, um, listen. listen to it, sorry. Is it, <laughs> is the album and we will it. all start to go by those virtues. And I have one for you too. Thank you. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed the show. Please stay tuned tomorrow, same time, same, same place, <laughs> same, same station. Venue. Don't same touch that. In fact, leave it on TVC forever. <laughs> <laughs> Bye -bye. See, you. See you tomorrow. Take care. Goodbye, and I love you. <laughs>